Thank you for joining me for a daily practice check-in. Listen, listen, listen. This beautiful sound calls us back to our true home. The fifth mindfulness training. Aware of the suffering caused by unmindful consumption, I vow to cultivate good health, both physical and mental, for myself, my family, and my society by practicing mindful eating, drinking, and consuming. I will ingest only items that preserve peace, well being, and joy in my body, in my consciousness, and in the collective body and consciousness of my family and society. I'm determined not to use alcohol or any other items that contain toxins, such as certain TV programs, magazines, books, films, and conversations. I'm aware that to damage my body or my consciousness with these poisons is to betray my ancestors, my parents, my society, and future generations. I will work to transform violence, fear, anger, and confusion in myself and in society by practicing a diet for myself and for society. I understand that a proper diet is crucial for self-transformation and the transformation of society. We've been reading Pure Land Zen, Zen Pure Land, the letters of Patriarch Yip Kuang for our Dharma lessons, and we're concluding uh, chapter eight or letter 18 today. Only those who are well versed in all Buddhist traditions and teachings can be true Buddha recitation practitioners. On the other hand, the dull, who are ignorant of everything but how to follow instructions sincerely, can also become true practitioners. Outside of these two groups, the correctness of practice depends on the cultivator's diligence and on whether or not he is practicing in accordance with the teachings. Since you are already determined and have no further doubts about Pure Land practice, why inquire about the results that other practitioners obtain? Even if no one else in the whole world obtains results, you should not develop a single thought of doubt. This is because the true words of Buddha Shakyamuni and the patriarchs should be proof enough. If you continually inquire about the results that other practitioners obtain, it means that you lack complete faith in the Buddha's words, and thus your practice certainly cannot bring results. The wise must not abandon the words of the Buddhas to follow those of human beings. Those who have no firm position and are only guided by the results of others are greatly to be pitied. May all beings be well, may all beings be happy, may all beings be at peace. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Thank you so much for joining me today.